Exhibit B. And this one hurts me. It really hurts me in my heart because this is another creator on this platform creating content around hair growth recipes, hair care, etc. that is stealing people pictures. If but, your recipe yeah. was so effective, sis, would you really need to steal somebody else's picture to promote your stuff? Your result would speak for themselves. Drops mic. Hi there, of the interweb. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ukachi. Welcome to my channel. Hi, how are you? Quick, because I'm an actual entrepreneurship master. So please consider subscribing to my channel if you love this kinds of content. And if you're my channel, welcome, welcome. So guys, today's video is just going to be a reaction video. Okay, I'm going to be reacting to comments I got on my problem with natural hair growth videos video, and Jen Jackson's video on natural hair growth videos or people using her content without her permission sort of kind of video. Okay, so without further ado, you know how we do. Let us get right into the video. Okay, yeah, guys. So in part when I reacted to the comments I got on my problem in natural hair growth videos video. You're like, so I don't really understand what is paining you. The fact that they're buying houses or cars. Nothing is paining me. Okay, I, I, let me see what is paining me. And she said, I've been doing their videos on this channel. Have I said I know? Please. But you're here crying tattoo tears in my comments. And I want to say that I'm not a very combative person. I don't like to fight. I don't have, I don't have power. Every money is not my money. Making money from DIY hair growth videos is not my money. And now in part two, I'm going to be talking about Jen Jackson's video, okay? Jen Jackson, okay? So let's get right into it. So for those that don't know, Jen Jackson is an American YouTuber living in America. I don't know which state she actually lives in America, but you get it. She's not Nigerian. And she did a video. This video was about like, I think, let's say it was like two months or four weeks ago. Four, six weeks ago. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember. And the video was actually called, These Hair Good Videos Are Out of Control. <laughs> so in the video, she reacted to people using her content um, for excessive hair growth videos and brands using her content for fake promotion, okay? So her video was about 18 minutes long. I'm going to be reacting to about just bits and pieces for about six minutes in total. And let's get, let's get right into it. Disclaimer for Jen Jackson. Don't copyright my video, please. Let's all be happy. It's for fair play. I say fair play. Fair use. Fair use. I'm not, I'm reacting for informational and educational purposes. Okay, yeah, let's get right into it. So the video is on this phone, we'll be watching on the phone, but we'll have a video on the screen so you guys will be watching this film. I'll do like a Netflix sort of kind of vibe. <laughs> let's get right into it, I beg. Because I told you today I'm about to be a little petty. Okay, petty Jen. Let's get into the first example. We are looking at Shannon Cruz. That is right. If you follow me, mm -hmm. then you know my name is not Shannon. Obviously. My name is Jen Jackson. But that day I woke up as Shannon Cruz. And Shannon apparently has alopecia. Okay. And the serum has helped her a lot. It helped her to regrow her hair. I can tell you that A, I'm not Shannon. And B, these two pictures, the before and after, were taken like four years apart. This one didn't have any dates, but literally, <laughs> you can see how young. First of all, I look in the first picture. Yeah, that was when I was a pretty young thing. Anyways, let's not. Get okay, back. so this is actually her talking about a brand that used her picture without her consent, and they said that she used her. That is in her picture for false advertising or false marketing, saying that oh she used this product and her hair like remove her hair from alopecia and all that stuff. If you are a natural creator. Eh? There's no how any brand, only of this scam brand. If you are, if you be a creator, like you say in 2018, 2019, 2020, there's not this scam brand will not, will not have used your content or your picture, your before and after where you post on social media for false advertising of a miracle hair growth product or a miracle hair growth oil or a miracle divine hair growth product. There's no how, like there's literally no how. It's very, very crazy because it even happened to me. I used... They used my picture for one bit, one this thing. I didn't even drag it. I just said, we started catching clothes in the community. Me and the person. It was a Nigerian brand. I don't know what the name was in Nigeria. I'm like, make una come on my picture for the, for una page. Oh. They replied me. I've started going back and forth. I said, make una five go drag una. Like, literally in pigeon, you know. But many comments are very, they, you, this was like the first scam in natural community or the first sham in natural community. Back in the day, it was brands using people's pictures out of, out of context without their permission or for false advertising, okay? Then Miss Jen went ahead to continue. Okay. She now went on to talk about Exhibit B. On to Exhibit B. And this one hurts me. It really hurts me in my heart because this is another creator on this platform 
creating content around hair growth recipes, hair care, etc. That is stealing people pictures. Okay, so she went on to exhibit video. B, and it's in this um, part of the video, talking about a creator using her own, using like Jane Jackson's own video picture, every own picture in her thumb when her hair was very low cut to do before and after on her on the creator's thumbnail. And then, then, then Jackson was like, oh, it's very annoying to her because you are meant to be also be a creator like me. Why don't you, if it's a brand, it's a different thing, but you are actually in the field of YouTube and in the field of social media, so what's up? If but, your recipe yeah. was so effective, sis, would you really need to steal somebody else's picture to promote your stuff? Your result would speak for themselves. Drops mic. I can't, I wouldn't even have thought of saying that that way. But drops mic, like drops mic. Conversation over, situation ended, door closed, gate locked, windows locked, house pad locked. We are out of here. What's the actual wow? Wow, wow. I don't even think I have the confidence to say that. Like, wow. <laughs> what? Okay, let's continue. Continue. <laughs> your hair will never stop growing. How come your hair has stopped? It has sarcasm for me. It's the sarcasm for me. So, what are we looking at here? So, first of all, the before picture is me. Do I need to see okay? That was when I big chopped back in 2016. 2020, that is plastered all over my face. Inaccurate, your honor. The lie detector said that was a lie. So you can see obviously the before picture was when Jen Jackson big chopped in 2016, but in the creator's thumbnail, she put 2020 as the year. This brings me back to my part A video where I talked about the the comments I got. You are here trying the person of Miss Benny, the lady left the comments. They are trying to say, oh, I'm missing another YouTuber's picture and it's unacceptable. But the YouTuber are trying to put you are putting on your cape for is using other people's pictures in her own thumbnail with a fake year. Not even the real year. Let's say she put 2016 there, okay. With a, literally a fake year in the in the in the picture. And I did not see your anger, I did not see your issue, I did not see your power, I did not see your your the same energy you're keeping for me. I didn't see it uh, on her channel. So what's up? What's good? What's what what's good, baby? What's good? Born from 2016. So you mean this girl went all the way back to take my picture, put it on her thumbnail, and say that it was taken in 2020. So, you can see how problematic that is. That now sets up the, the beginner or the average person that is trying to go. They are looking for the hair growth recipe to think that their hair would grow that fast if they tried that recipe in their hair in two years. Meanwhile, the injection that her hair, she cut that her own hair in 2016. 2016 was seven years ago. This is very crazy. See this, this arrow? pointing to her hair and i'm assuming that is her hair at this point she can't be trusted she's implying that the hair in the after is two year of hair growth if you don't see the if you don't see what is problematic about this then i don't know how i can make you see it as problematic but this is just one video on the internet there are a hundred probably a hundred thousand of others that are just like this that's as misleading as this how 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 fast would your hair be growing for you to get all that hair in two years is it about natural hair was news when i said when i said it's my video there's no microbiology invention there's no new revelation that will make your hair grow as fast as that she just literally reiterated my point there's nothing that you want to do that will make your hair grow as fast but this is because i know better the average person doesn't know this the people are telling you your hair needs to go six inches a year. The whole six inches a year thing was exactly for people that have straight Caucasian hair. Afro textured hair usually is about a quarter an inch, not even half an inch. It grows slow and that's it. That and that's fine. So we we now go into the notion that our oh, hair is meant to be growing six inches every year. Six inches every year. It's meant to grow like three inches every year. Grow and retain at least three inches at like around three to four inches every year. Anything anything around three is meant to be a normal. But we've tried to put six as normal, and three is now the abnormal one. But three is meant to be the normal growth rate. Of course, you're falling victim for that. 296,000 people have clicked on this video to get their hopes and dreams taken and snatched away from them. You know, I said maybe I would like to aspire to Maguire. We love to dream. We love to live a lie, live a fallacy. 296,000 people have actually clicked on that video trying to 
see the new the new revelation the new invention let's call it the new invention exactly and all their dreams has okay now it's not clothes that works what is it what works this clothes train because clothes is just all these things are just trends it was closed last month now it's rosemary this month what is it what really is it going to be next month what is it going to be next month it's just one thing or the other one thing there's always something there's always always something and it's so crazy what of course you're gonna click and find out how you can grow all that hair in two years exactly i can't even say more than meanwhile mine before was taken in 2016 okay like tell me that's not fraudulent you have absolutely no integrity as a person if i had said that in my video now you people will come in for me i think kachi was looking for trouble kachi wants to but jane jackson actually said it thank god it's her content so it's from the horse's mouth we are hearing it from and nobody is in the comments saying no jane, that's too much no she said let's call it what it's actually fraudulent it's false marketing it's false advertising she is not advertising any products. She's advertising her own channel and her own brand, but it is false advertising. Let's let's not try to be sugarcoating. Let's not. We Nigerians have an issue with sugarcoating the lies. Let's just say it as it is, without abusing people obviously. But let's just say it as it is. It's fraudulent. Are you lying to the good people on Beyonce's internet so that you can get views on your videos? It really must be worth it. It really must be worth it. How? Can Jen, I don't want to come out of right now and say, oh, you get a lot of money from the views, but that's what she was driving about, driving for. If this video had two views now, she wouldn't have done a video about it. But yeah, they're usually you now using her to make money on Beyonce's internet, as she said. Don't you see it? Don't you see it? It's a cash grab. Yeah. Sleep at night knowing that is how you're misleading people. As if the first video wasn't bad enough. She okay. went and did another video. This one and posted the second video. This one and posted right. a second video. Jen Jackson did not right. crop out her picture in the video. It's the same. It's, I, I tried to get this exact thumbnail, but we'll get to why I didn't get this exact thumbnail for my own thumbnail. This is her exact clothes. Don't use clothes. Blah, blah, blah. Jen Jackson is how she has half Jen Jackson dropped it on, on you, us. And nobody's crying tattoo tears in Jen Jackson's comments. So why are you crying tattoo tears in my comments? And guess what? The same picture, my picture, it was so successful the first time. Why wouldn't you do it again? Exactly. It's ridiculous the things that's out there. And I really want you to be aware because this video that's is why I do. before and afters are not true. Right. Why would you have to use somebody else's picture if your recipe was so effective? That that is why I do my own videos to raise awareness. That's the thing Jen Jackson is trying to do. So why? I, so you can see, you can see. Is my question. That's what I need answers to. So of course she went and used this uh, different video, and I think she got nineteen thousand views on that one at the time when I took the screenshots. That was months ago, and her entire channel is about thumbnails that are like this: grow your hair like this, it will never stop growing like this, da 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 da, like this, and it's ridiculous i just don't know how you sleep at night i'm not about this is because one of my subscribers saw the video and sent it to me and was like girl i don't know if that's you but it appears that it's your picture and i was like and i had to go and investigate and take screenshot and stuff you know because i knew petty jen was gonna pop out this is why i just have no faith in these recipes because if they work someone wouldn't have to resolve to tactics like this to A, sell it to you, and B, get a bunch of views on their video. Exactly. Uh, this is basically all I said in my video. Exactly. If your recipes are that potent or they are that effective, you will not have to now start using people's pictures in your own video. And then misleading your followers and lying about it. And uh, this is a lot. The results will speak for themselves. And she has beautiful hair. Why don't you use your own before and after? Why do you have to resort to tactics? Because of the shock factor, she using another person's picture that is more dramatic, is a lot more views, is a lot more clicks, a lot more money. Let's say it as it is. That a subscriber of mine sent me the videos, which is why I became aware. But I posted about it on my Instagram stories, and I think a few people reached out to her or whatever. And I also, and so did I. 
And let me tell you something. If you're using my stuff fraudulently, best believe I'm going to report you, okay? I have no shame in the game. There's nothing that bothers me more when people use your content without giving you credit in a different way that it was intended to or in a way to lie to people on the internet. There's nothing that bothers me more. Exactly. If you're using my content without my consent, okay, no issue. You are using it with, in a way that is misleading. Then you need to lie. <laughs> that, that last one. I like it, Jen Jackson. I have no shame in the game. Jen Jackson, 2020. I think, I think someone else came back to me and said that they reached out to her and was like, what you're doing is wrong. And she blocked them. You can see, you can see, That's the Coco. She actually blocked, she actually blocked the person that reached out to her, allegedly. Do I have to say more than that? Do I really need to speak more English than the English I'm already speaking now? I think I've already spoken so much English. She actually blocks them. So that's why I could not get it thumbnail because she took down the video, took down the and put another one and with another person's picture. I don't think it was like, well, it was another person's picture because she likes to tell people's pictures in her. I don't know why. Probably because of the amount of views and the shock factor because I really don't know. I really don't know. First, when you get called out about doing something and instead of kind of taking ownership and accountability, you decide to block the people, use a different picture and keep it moving. Hello, where is your integrity? Who raised you? Why are you like this? And this is what you need to do to get views on YouTube. Why don't you create great content so that you can get views on YouTube instead of fraudulently trying to bamboozle people. For these videos, because we have an obsession with hair growth and long hair. Check out my obsession with natural hair growth video linked here, top right corner. But we are so obsessed as black people. That's why people can, these videos, views of actually how to take care of your hair. Don't get as much views as do it. Your hair will not stop growing kind of videos. That is fact. We are so obsessed with growing our hair long that it really cools us off. It blinds our view. It ruins our our perception of things. To be very honest, um, I feel just about like Jen Jackson in this video. I support everything she said. It's just what is so sad for me is that Jen Jackson had just reacted to this because it had to do with her content. Different creators have been doing this consistently with other people's content and nobody has said anything about I've not heard anything on these YouTube streets at least me have not heard anything maybe you might have heard though you have to take somebody like using Jen Jackson's content actually for her to actually like talk about this publicly I don't I don't know if she talked about this before but this is the first time I'm going to talk about it and that's what I'm going to talk about on my own channel because I'm not talking about it okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys learned 18 or 2 subscribe to my channel I'm joining to 25,000 subscribers thank you guys for watching my content Please check out part one. Link at the top right corner. This is part two and the end of this. Okay, so subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Natural Kachi, TikTok, Natural Kachi, LinkedIn, Natural Kachi, the professional world, professional influencer, YouTube, Natural Kachi, subscribe, join 25k, Facebook group, Natural Kachi, Facebook page, Natural Kachi, LinkedIn, Natural, everywhere, Natural Kachi. Okay, I think I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to faith it till you make it. Bye. Oh, 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 oh. Kachi, Kachi.